Hey guys, Chris Haskins, what's going on buddies? Listen, I'm gonna give you a quick tip. You hear this stuff behind me. This is a house that my realtor's showing me. If you see the roof is just busted in right there. I'm gonna give you a tip. If you're rehabbing houses in the wintertime, guys, if you're rehabbing houses in the wintertime, it's serious, seriously important to cut the water lines off. Cut your water mains off. This is what happens when you're overnight, when the, when it, when the temperature drops below freezing, you can see this house has been completely renovated, guys. I'll give you a tip. Cut the water off. This house is completely flooded. There's about three inches of water right here in the living room. And around the front of the property is just completely flooded out down the driveway. It's just a nightmare. I'll show you some more pictures. See, the water is just coming in through the ceiling. What happens is, unbelievable. This is just unbelievable. I cannot believe these people left. Look at that, the water is just dripping. Unbelievable. The whole thing is just falling in. The ceiling is falling in. Oh my lord. Brand new microwave. We tried to call the realtor. He's not even picking up the phone. I don't even know where he is. But we're going to be out of here in a little while. Me and my realtor are going to be out of here. She's outside, but... The water's still running. We don't even know how to cut the water off. I went out to the, I went to the street to try to cut the water off for the guy and can't even figure out how to get it cut off. So if you're rehabbing houses, guys, in the winter time, make sure you're cutting the water off. Get the water off, cut the water off on these houses. That way, when the temperature goes below freezing, you can actually, what happens when the temperature goes below freezing, the pipes will bust, the copper pipes. They will bust and they'll get a little crack in them. And then all it takes is that one little crack and you'll get gallons and gallons of water in your house just like this one. Um, so freaking beautiful. You can see water in there. It's gotta be three inches of water on the ground, on the floor. Unbelievable. This house has been completely renovated. Look at the water just dripping down the cabin. Oh my lord. This is I mean, this makes my stomach hurt. The countertop is just completely done. This whole house is just done. Completely renovated property. Reduced to rubbish. I tell my coaching clients, if you're flipping a house or rehabbing a property, make sure to be there. Go by the property every other couple of days. I know I do. I'm not too proud to do it. Go by the property, look at it to see what's going on there. Somebody might have thrown a rock through the window. This is like the worst case scenario here. This is all the plumbing is up in the attic. What's this dripping down? You need to be coming by your house at least, at least once a week if it's your flip. Oh my Lord, look at this. This is one of the bad bedrooms. Water is just coming, pouring down. Look at this. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. All those joists are bad now. You gotta cut all those out. What is this guy gonna do? What is he going to do with this? I gotta go call somebody. The realtor is not even picking up the phone. I tried to call the realtor. Maybe I'll send him a text message. your flip guys, if it's your renovation, be there. Don't let this happen to you. Pipes will freeze at nighttime guys. If the temperature is getting below 30 degrees, go to your house, cut the water off. Don't let this happen to you. Okay, Chris Haskins signing out.